Welcome back queens, it's your girl Jess and let's get today's video. As you see by the title, it's all about makey up, mock up, make up, you call it how you want to call it, right? So I personally am a professional makeup artist and I have loved makeup ever since I was a kid. I've seen a lot of comments about girls who wear excessive makeup or the no makeup makeup look and people are like, oh she needs to go swimming or she needs to do this, she needs to do that. Okay, let's just backtrack a bit, right? People think that when a woman or whoever wears makeup that they're insecure but I beg to differ I don't think that at all I think you can be completely secure without any makeup on but I want to feel I want to feel a type of way so I'm gonna wear makeup depending on my mood or what mood or vibe I'm trying to go on or at I'm gonna put makeup accordingly right do you kind of agree do you feel the same I feel like when I want to be like a bad mm, da, da, da. Da, 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 I'm a cut, you know, like that Nikki song. <laughs> I want to wear red lipstick and I want to put like a liner as long as my freaking eyebrows. Like, we don't wear it just because we're insecure. And don't get me wrong, when I was younger, I would feel very insecure, and that's probably why I started wearing makeup. And I realized it made me feel so like empowered it made me feel like yes oh my gosh i am her and what's wrong with women feeling like that if they have to wear makeup that's what makes you feel confident and more secure within yourself then i think go for it i'm not saying that you should only rely on that because obviously self-love is something that is from within but if that is accommodating to that why the hell should you feel the need to hate on someone just because they feel that way. I believe most women want to enhance their features. They want to enhance what their mama gave them. My makeup technique is always about enhancing your own beauty because we are all so beautiful and we have so many different things that make us beautiful. And I'm like, yes, I want to enhance whatever you love about yourself, what I love about you, which is probably your whole face. And we're going to work with that. For example, I like my lips. I overline them all the time. I don't think I've done a makeup look where I don't overline them. And if I do, it's very unnatural to me. I feel very weird. I don't really like taking photos. It's not my thing. I'm going to overline them in this video. Like, <laughs> it's something that I like. I like my eyes. So because I like eyes, I'm going to put eyeliner to enhance that. It's truly your preference. And I don't think that anyone should say that, oh, she she's only doing that because she's so insecure and she probably hates the way she looks and she takes all her makeup, blah, blah. Excuse me. What? What? Who, who came up with this? A lot of women do try to wear makeup to look like these unrealistic beauty standards. I did a video up here, I'll link it if you want to have a look um, about that. It's so hard to talk when you're doing your lower eyelash because like... But seriously, think about it. These unrealistic beauty standards are of women that wear makeup that are completely flawless. They don't have one pore on their face. You know, then they don't have any pimples. I am breaking the hell out over here. And I have a gorgeous one over here shining to the world. It can be so hard to feel confident all of the time. Like, please let me know if you're confident every single, like 100% of the time, every single day, all the time. I personally don't think that that's possible or rational. Maybe it's possible. Maybe it's not. Like, I don't really know anyone that's 100% confident every single time, like every single day, every single moment. Like I'm not saying that you shouldn't be, but I feel like we sometimes get into that little funk. It could even be for five minutes and then you're like, nah, 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 get out of there, get out of your head. This is not what we do. This is not who we are, you know, which is great. But I do feel like sometimes makeup is used as well to kind of replicate other makeup that you see on social media and try to get your confidence that way, which you know, each to their own. I feel like if that's what's making you feel good, you do it. I just truly believe if you're not hurting anyone, you're doing something to your body, your face, and you feel good about it, I personally don't... That's just what you I personally don't think that anyone really has a right to tell you that, you know, what you're doing is wrong or say, oh my God, you're only doing this because of that. Like, at the end of the day, people are going to always have an opinion, especially if you're on social media and not on social media people had an opinion before social media right but i feel like just remember that their opinion is their their own excuse that that's them they they do that for them you do what you want for you no matter what you want to do you do you boo as long as you're feeling good at the end of the day and you feel like yes i am her this is she then i personally think go for it honey like really we live in a world where 
people are always trying to be like the next person so why not take advantage and be you <laughs> that's incredible and i feel like makeup is so creative makeup to me is a form of showing my creativity and enhancing different parts of my face enhancing different parts of my queens that are on my chair you know it's so fun and it's like how do you want to feel today i always ask my clients what are you gonna wear today? They told me, I'm like, all right, this is the vibe I'm thinking. And it's not really like the makeup look, it's the vibe. So I'm thinking, all right, we're gonna go this, and you're gonna flick your hair, you're gonna wear heels, and you're gonna be like, yes, yes, yes. Or do you wanna be more like, mm, shy, cute, yes, uh huh. You know, like that kind of vibe. It's truly all about the vibe that you wanna portray as opposed to the look, if that makes sense. That's for me anyway. I feel like it's just fun. If you have dark circles and you want to put concealer honey you put your concealer on if you want to wear red lipstick one day because you know you know what you want to feel like a sexy bad badass then you do that you don't need to do it to i guess you know oh i can't wear a red lip like that's not in only neutrals are in let me tell you something honey no matter what the fashion or look vibe is i feel like i will always do what i'm feeling and i think you should too because that's what makes you happy at the end of the day and you actually feel like oh my god i did this because i actually wanted to not because society is telling me that this is what i should do because let's be real ladies for the longest time probably forever right women have been told what to do do this do that do this don't do this don't do this how about we do what makes us happy and the more we do that the more good things come to us makeup is not our enemy makeup is our friend it's the makeup companies that sometimes are an enemy <laughs> Makeup companies sometimes use people's insecurities and their weaknesses to sell products, which I personally think is wrong. And I did a video about toxic beauty standards. You should totally watch it because I cover that more in depth. But I really think that makeup is so fun. It's literally like one of the best things I do. I love to play music and just do my makeup. And I understand a lot of people that don't really know how to do makeup they freak out but just do it like who cares if your contour wants to be schnizzled and dark af and whatever you do that if you feel sexy and empowered and like you want to flick your hair all the time and you want to strut please do it do it do it do it do it i encourage you so much to do it please please <laughs> let's think about this for a second no one says oh my god you're wearing a long dress oh my god you're wearing jeans oh, how insecure are you why don't you show your body no, no one says that about clothes. Why do we say that about makeup? If I want to wear a full face and I want my foundation to be as thick as my bum, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> Our faces are a canvas and makeup is the art that we put on to the canvas to create something new every single day. Every, it could be three times a day if I want. If you want to get something done or you, know, you don't want to do something, but you feel like your partner you know, your friends, the social media, whoever it is, right, is telling you, oh my God, you're going to be fake if you do that. Oh my God, this, oh my God, that. Do it if you want to do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of people saying, oh my God, she's so fake. If you want to get Botox and fillers and get your freaking cheeks done, your nose, your lips, whatever it is, do it. Oh my gosh, I used to have someone always telling me, oh my God, if you do this, you're going to be so fake. I don't like fake people. What? <laughs> Let me just get something straight. Being fake is not, I personally think, my definition, is nothing to do with your appearance. It's more about your personality. If I am acting a certain way, and then I, as soon as you go, I'm a whole different type of person, that to me is fake. Not sitting there and doing something to myself so I feel better about myself being fake. It's not like when we were in the womb, we got to decide, oh, I want this nose. I want, you know, my eye color to be like this. I want my eye shape to be like this. I want this and this and that. No, honey, you get what you're given. You can enhance it. You can do some surgery. You can do whatever you want to do. But we're so fearful that people are going to be judging us. And, you know, especially when it's your closest people to you that are telling you, if you do this, oh my God, it's not going to do blah, blah, blah. That can be so daunting on you and then you start to feel i feel like more resentment towards the things that you actually want to do because it's not real or it's not who you are or whatever the hell the case is i truly feel like if it's your body and if it's your face and you want to do something for you because you feel like you'll get better you'll feel better do it but i'm not saying hold up 
not saying that you should hate yourself or feel insecure before because i truly feel like if you don't love yourself before whatever you do you're not going to love yourself like with or with or without the, that issue right I feel like you should really truly start loving yourself who you are and how you are and if you want to still do something do it i am so for whatever you want to do as long as you're happy and you feel great and you feel empowered and you're smiling and you wake up you're like yes do it do it and the fun thing about makeup is it gives us some control back now before you saw me my lips were average now they're freaking huge and i love it <laughs> i wanted to enhance I, I personally don't want to get fillers in my lips i did once and they were bigger than this and i felt like it didn't really suit my face especially when i was wearing makeup so i was like you know what i'm just gonna rock the natural lip and when i feel like doing uh, extra extravagant lip and I want my lips to look bougie AF I'm gonna put I'm gonna overline it and I always do I also have a video here where you can do it naturally and I do that too because sometimes I want it to look bigger than it is and that's what I want to do but if you want to get filler you do you boo you do you boo 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 I'm just here to tell you that makeup is so fun makeup is great it does wash off in the end of the day so at the end of the day like it's nothing to freak out about it's okay if i want you do whatever you want to do if you want to put blue eyeshadow on one day you do that you do that if you want to put blue lips do it it's so fun it makes you feel good it makes you feel like yes i want to be this i want to be this person today so i'm going to be her and that's how i look at makeup so that's how i want you to look at it too love you all so much my queens keep slaying and subscribe and i will see you in my next video mwah, mwah, mwah. bye <laughs>